So I'm starting this whole new series, testing out different shop vac variations, wet dry vacs, to see which one really performs the best. So what makes a shop vac a good shop vac? Well, there's a lot of different indicators, and the main one that we see, especially in the big box stores, the Home Depots, the Lowe's, is horsepower. Now in the past, I've always said that my preferred uh, shop vac that I use for my car detailing business is a five peak horsepower rigid shop vac. And I absolutely stand by that, I love those things. But the five peak horsepower rating really doesn't give us any sort of indication of how that uh, uh, wet dry shop vac is actually gonna perform. So in order to really test these things and really decide which shop vac is actually the best choice, there's two things that you need. Well, three things actually, you need water lift, which is a rating that they have. This is a water lift gauge right here and we will be testing that. You also need CFM or the total volume of air going through or passing through being sucked in. And this is a CFM monitor. So we will be testing both of those. And number three, it's I guess widely known that this is the best indicator is air wattage. Now I don't have a tool to test air wattage, but the good thing is you don't need one. You actually just need these two. It's just a simple equation using the water lift and the CFM. So I'm starting this whole new series, testing out different shop vac variations, wet dry vacs, to see which one really performs the best. Obviously it depends on the sealing um, of the canister. If there's any leakage, then it's not gonna perform as well. The hose length, I'm not sure if the hose actual length matters or the diameter of it, all that stuff, but we'll find out. And to start off this whole test, we're gonna be checking out this guy here. This is an awesome find on Amazon. Retails for about $80, five peak horsepower, four gallon capacity, shop vac from the brand VacMaster. Again, available on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description for you guys. Um, and the really cool thing about this, I bought it during Prime Day. I'm just getting around to reviewing this, but it has a really, really cool feature that I was intrigued by. So that's why I bought it and decided to test it out. And again, it's a really good price. So well worth it. But let's go ahead and pop this thing open. I'll run through it really quick and I'll show you guys the feature that I really liked and then we'll start testing it. Okay guys, so here is the unit. And I would say right off the bat, I really like the color combo. It looks really, really good. You have your on off switch right on top here. Um, again, so it's ultra quiet two stage motor, which is really, really cool. So we'll test that as well, see how loud the thing is. You have these hooks that are really easy to remove, um, but these are for storage of your hose. Um, build quality on the thing is, <laughs> I would just call, okay, it's fine, nothing special. Doesn't seem like the thickest plastic in the world. Uh, the wheels just kind of slide right into place and then you just sort of secure them down with a, uh, a screw. These ones just pop into place like normal. So that's all good. I do like the fact that they do have a large wheel on the back. Something I do not like though is that there is no locking me mechanism for the wheel. So me personally, while I'm detailing cars, sometimes you're on a steep driveway and with no locking mechanism, it could potentially roll into the car. So you just gotta be careful with that. Um, outside of that, let me go ahead and show you guys around the back. So really nice, you actually have um, a filter inside. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and move on to that. Let me pop this open really quickly. So as you can see, filter inside. Um, and there's your little, your little port for the hose. Um, and then you also do get a little filter bag, and then you also get a wet dry filter, and a bunch of accessories, guys. So for the price of 80 bucks or 83 bucks or whatever it is, the accessories are fantastic on this thing. You have the three extensions, little crevice tool, little brush, a wider brush, you got your hose. The hose is, there's a lot to be desired here. It's pretty short. It's, um, it, 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 yeah, you can see it's, it's just a thin walled hose but I was looking at the attachment point and I don't have it here, but I think that the rigid accessory kit will fit on it with no problem, so that's great. And then you also do have a floor tool with uh, variable height, so really cool. You can adjust the height depending on if you're working on you know, tile or carpet or whatever else, so that's great for just around the house. But um, moving over here, we do have, again, that filter inside, and then we have an exhaust filter that is built in. You just push this up, this little door comes off, and here's your exhaust filter. So that will probably, I mean, that's definitely gonna help with the fine particulates and keeping those out of the air. So that's really cool. Something that a lot of the ridges do not have. Um, they just have the regular exhaust port. But the bad thing about this is uh, on a usual shop vac, wet dry kind of garage vac, um, you could take the hose off the inlet and you could put it on the outlet and then it becomes a blower. Um, it's not something I use because it blows out what's inside. Um, but just in case you need a blower and you're in a pinch, you could do that. Um, with this one, it looks like there's no option for that. So uh, keep that in mind, but I do like that they have the filter. 
You have this little storage cubby on the back. And here is the feature that I was blown away by here. And it is a retractable hose. So it stays into place. And you have the retraction button. Pulls it right back in. How long that's gonna last, I do not know. Um, but that's very, very cool. I absolutely hate dealing with cords on vacuums personally. Just a couple more facts for you guys. It, the retractable cord is an 18 foot retractable cord. All the storage, HEPA rated filtration, two stage motor, um, and then the hose. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm six feet tall, so my wingspan, it's probably seven feet, seven foot um, hose, or right about there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start testing this little guy. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Um, we will test the decibel rate. You know what? I apologize. I'm not gonna test the decibel rating in this situation. I'm in a garage. I don't know if you can, I have a microphone on, but there is an echo in here. It's not gonna be a fair representation. And if you can see out that window, it is dark outside. I don't wanna annoy my neighbors. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna skip that part, but we will test the air lift and the CFM, and then we'll be able to calculate the air watts. But I wanna, uh, really figure this out and, and really decide because it's similar to a pressure washer where a pressure washer is gonna list the PSI and the GPM, but those numbers are always the maximum that they're able to achieve and not at the same time, right? If you're getting 2000 PSI, you're gonna, and it, let's, for example, let's say a pressure washer states uh, 2000 PSI, 1.2 GPM. Typically, it's not even gonna get that 2000 PSI, but it'll actually operate around 1800 PSI, say, and we'll be at like 1.1 GPM. And then as we reduce the PSI, the GPM goes up. So again, the max ratings aren't gonna happen at the same time. They're gonna be like this and kind of level out as, they, uh, as you adjust. So I think it's the same situation here. So let's go ahead and find out. We're gonna test it straight from the port right here, and then we'll throw the hose on and test it that way as well to see if there's any difference, because I don't know. Again, guys, Retractable, I think this is the coolest feature ever. Well, it was on, I have to say, it's quite quiet. It's, it's very quiet actually, I'm, I'm quite impressed. Now I can feel exhaust coming off the back, but I can also feel it coming off from here as well. So is that gonna affect um, the performance? It might, I, I don't know. Let me just gonna go ahead and make sure that this is all sealed down, the filter's on correctly. Um, and it may, honestly guys, it may be one of those things where whatever the rating is, which we'll look up here in a second for this unit, um, that may be with no filter on it. Again, I don't know. So we're gonna test it with the filter in a usable situation, just like how I test the pressure washers. I wanna give you guys the usable numbers of these things. So I just went and checked and this unit is rated at, I just made some notes on my hand, 65 CFM, 64 inches of water lift, and then 125 air watts. Now how you calculate air watts is CFM, times water lift divided by 8.5. I don't, uh, equals whatever that is. And again, guys, if you have any experience in rating vacuum cleaners, please let me know. Please comment down below. Let me know. Um, again, I'm just finding this stuff off the internet on how to effectively um, calculate the air watts. So I, I don't know. Um, you know, with the water lift, I have a gauge here that's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. For the CFM, I have a gauge here. I will have to calculate it because this just calculates air flow, I think, so I'll have to you know, calculate something, but um, let's start testing. Okay guys, again, I'm just gonna go straight out of the port here with my air meter or uh, water lift meter here. We're gonna turn it on. Flip you around. All right, so this is actually registering at 72 inches of water lift versus the 64 that they state. So. That's better uh, than what they state. Let's go ahead and hook it up to the hose because maybe that is um, the rating with the hose. Let's see if there's any loss in water lift once you attach the hose. Go ahead and turn it back on. And a tiny, tiny bit, but it looks like we're about just 70 now instead of the 72. So still much better than I expected. Okay, so that's good to know. We didn't really lose very much water lift. A tiny bit, but not much. Let's go ahead and uh, disconnect the hose and we will check the CFM. So I have it measuring, let's see here, unit, miles per hour, feet, knots, miles per hour. I don't know what, 
and the water, the air needs to be flowing through this way. So here we go. Let me turn this on. We're bouncing around a little bit, but we're at 25 uh, miles per hour. I don't know what that means. Let me go ahead and do the calculation real quick. Okay guys, so I'm back. I just pulled up a little airflow conversion calculator on my computer and at the 25 miles per hour, that came to just over 61 CFM. Again, they have this listed at 65 CF, uh, CFM, so not quite as what they're listing, but, it, uh, but the water lift is more than what they're listing. So again, it all averages out. Um, with that, tw uh, sorry, 61.11 CFM multiplied by the air, uh, uh, water lift, which was 72 at this point, and then we'll divide that by 8.5 to get our air watts. And our air watts are coming in at 517 uh, air watts. Again, means nothing to me as of now. I haven't tested any other vacuums this way, so I don't know if that's a good number or a bad number, but that's the number we're getting. All right, guys, now I know I just told you that the air watts that this thing, this unit here was listed at online was 125 and we're getting 515. So I just went and double checked. Apparently there's a few different calculations you can use to figure out the air watts. And I did all of them using the numbers that we achieved here and they all came as at 515. So uh, I think that what they listed was wrong. It's at 515 air watts, which again, I don't know if it's good or bad, but go ahead and comment down below guys. If I'm doing that wrong, please let me know. Otherwise I'm gonna use this metric. I'm gonna use that calculation that I got, so the 515 air watts, uh, 72 inches of water lift, and 61 um, CFM. Other than that, very, very, very quiet machine. I'm very impressed with that. Um, again, the water lift, the CFM, I don't know. Is that good or not? I don't know. We will find out uh, here shortly. I will bring in some rigid vacs. I will bring in all these different vacuums to really test and find the best value, best bang for buck for a little shop vac. And then also some wall mount solutions. I'm gonna set up a wall mount vacuum in my shop. Um, and I have three here that I'm gonna be testing out. I'm gonna be testing out the Adams. I can't remember the brand that they partnered with, but it's a really small, really uh, flush mounted unit, which looks really cool. And then we have the vacuum aid. And then we have the, oh man, Prolux that we're gonna be testing as well. Those, are, those two are significantly more expensive uh, than the one from Adams but Adams does have a partnership with the vacuum made one as well. So anyways, so we're gonna be testing out all those, so make sure you're subscribed. We're gonna be doing a whole series on these vacuums, guys, to really figure out the CFM, water lift, and then the air watts to see what vacuum really is best. Again, five uh, horsepower, peak rigid vacuum is what I've always used. Anything more than that, it kind of pulls the, va uh, the uh, carpet up too much. I like that number, but again, I don't know if that really equates to the same thing for every single vacuum. This one's rated at five horsepower. We'll see if it, uh, how it compares to the rigid. So stay tuned for those. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I appreciate all of you. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one.